I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at Revenicat. In December, we introduced targeting, a feature for targeting specific paywalls to specific users using a sequence of customizable rules to determine which users see which paywalls. And we promised this was just the beginning. Well, I'm excited to announce we're already expanding the capabilities of Revenicat targeting with two powerful new features for making sure the right users see the right paywalls, custom attributes and in-product placement. To start, let's quickly recap how Revenicat targeting works. In the Revenicat dashboard, there's a section called targeting where you can configure a set of rules that control which users see which paywalls in your app. After you've configured these rules, when your app asks the Revenicat SDK which offering it should show the user, the Revenicat backend will run through a system like this to determine which offering to return. First, it will check if the user is enrolled in any experiments. Then, it will run through the rules you've configured, in order, and if there's a match, it will return the configured offering. If it gets through all the rules without finding a match, it will return the default offering. We launched targeting last year with four initial rules. Country, app, for example, iOS or Android, app version, and Revenicat SDK version. With today's release, we're adding two new powerful rule types, custom attributes, and in-product placement. Let's go through how each of these work. We'll start with custom attributes. Custom attributes can be almost any unique piece of data your app uses to segment your users. Let's look at an example. I have a video streaming app dedicated to movies about pets. During onboarding, I ask users what their favorite pet is to customize their in-app experience. At the end of onboarding, I show a paywall. I want this paywall to be customized based on their pet preferences. This is the perfect use case for targeting by custom attributes. When a user selects their favorite pet, I simply have to set a custom attribute here called favorite animals for that user in our Revenica SDK and then call a new method to make sure those attributes sync immediately. Once you've done that, you can go to the targeting page of the Revenicat dashboard and add a new rule that says users with the favorite animal custom attribute set to cat will be shown a cat offering that I've already set up with a special paywall designed for users who love cats. And then I can set up another rule for users who prefer dogs and show a different paywall designed for them. Now, different users will see different paywall designs based on their stated preferences in your onboarding. Now, this is just one example, but there are limitless possibilities here. You may want to show a special paywall to users who've been on your free tier for over a year, or a special discount offering for power users based on some internal heuristics. We're really excited to hear about all the interesting ways you all utilize custom attributes for targeting. Okay, now let's check out the second new targeting rule, in-product placement. In-product placements are a way to show specific offerings based on where the user is currently located within your app. For example, you may wanna show one paywall design to the first time users at the end of onboarding, but a different paywall design if a user taps an upgrade button in your app settings. Let's go back to our video streaming app example. You have a well-performing paywall design that's shown at the end of onboarding, but you want to show a different design for existing users who open the paywall by tapping the upgrade button that you have in settings. With targeting by in-product placement, this is now incredibly simple. In your app, when you ask the Revenicat SDK for your current offering to show in your paywall, you can now specify a placement string. Here, I'm specifying onboarding. When I'm opening the paywall from settings, I'll specify settings. Back in the Revenicat dashboard, you'll see a new option in our rules settings to add a placement. Here you can specify which offering to display for each location in your app. Notice that this is different from a condition such as country or custom attribute. A single rule can actually have multiple placements to specify different offerings to show at different locations in your app. So in our example, I can specify a settings placement and an onboarding placement inside of my one dog fans rule and then do the same for my cat fans role. Now, dog fans will see a dog-themed onboarding paywall at the end of onboarding and a different dog-themed settings paywall design when tapping upgrade in settings. As you can see, targeting by custom attribute and in product placements are really flexible and make a powerful combination. So that's today's update to Revenicat targeting, two new powerful rules to help you show more personalized offerings to your users.
You can find full details and more in-depth video tutorials in our documentation at revenuecat.com slash docs slash targeting. For everything else RevenueCat, visit revenuecat.com.